Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and cheap coins, check out instantmudcoins.com and use code ZERK for 20% off. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing, what, what, wobbing, what, what, wobbing. When I come around, got the whole thing wobbing, what, what. What's going on guys? It's Zerks coming at you today with another YouTube video and today we've got the new golden tickets coming out tomorrow. Now we did already know about three of these golden tickets that are coming out tomorrow. However, we thought there was only going to be three. They actually did release one developer golden ticket. Now they didn't actually say like in the tweet that it is a developer golden ticket, but we know that it is in fact a developer GT because this is not one of the ones that was remaining. I do want to give a shout out to Just Frosty for being a part of the Noti Gang. If you guys want a chance to shout out in the next video, drop a like in the video. Make sure you guys are subbed to the channel, turn notification bell on, and comment down below Noti Gang. And as you guys can see, Taysom Hill is one of the players tomorrow. Now he is a scrambler. That's all we can see is the scrambler archetype on him. So I don't know the archetypes. We will see tomorrow if he was made correctly. If he has everything you need to get, you know, Gunslinger, Howard Master, all that good stuff for cheaper. I have no idea, but we will find out tomorrow. Uh, but in terms of his release, I also don't know about his release. I never actually used the card. I, I know he's not anything crazy special. I'd imagine he's maybe got a slower release. Someone let me know down below if you have used Taste Mill. I have not used the card all year, uh, but he does have 96 speed, 98 throw power, 95 short, 99 medium, 99 deep, 99 throw under pressure with 99 throw on the run and 99 play action. So in terms of throwing stats, he does look really good. And he's also got 96 speed. Uh, also, we already know that Taste Taysom Hill, his 95 overall card, really, really good on the run. You know, he's got the carrying, he has the trucking, all that good stuff. So definitely expect him to be kind of a Tim Tebow-like quarterback. So if you like Tebow, maybe you want to pick up Taysom Hill to switch it up. You know, if there's something crazy about Taysom on the run. But uh, Tebow, 99 trucking, 99 break tackle, like everything you want there. So for me personally, I would still probably rather go with Tim Tebow. And we'll see about the archetypes on Taysom Hill tomorrow. But we've also got Brandon Ayuk. Now, I already know this Ayuk card is going to be crazy after the catch. Now, he does have 98 speed with 99 jumping, so you can get to 99 speed. He also has 99 catching traffic, 98 catching, 99 spec catch, 99 short, 96 medium, 96 deep. Now, I will say, not a big fan of the medium and the deep being the, you know, 96 is there. I wish it was the deep being a 99 and then short and medium 96, so that way you could run, you know, play fake on him. Boom, you can get his short and medium to 99. Unfortunately, cannot get 99 to all of his routes. I don't believe that any of the other uh, potential chemistries you can run give plus three to medium and deep. As off the top of my head, I don't think there are any that do that, so unfortunate there good catch of traffic though good speed and you already know brandon Ayuk is gonna be really good after catch and i think i actually saw the stats in this card already and i think he has decent run blocking so brandon Ayuk, i think that'll be actually a pretty solid card there now in terms of this jimmy smith right here guys he does have 96 speed and 97 excel 95 agility 97 jumping 99 play rec 99 man zone and press on him so coverage stats look good can only get to 98 speed but i will say this this is again another Another golden ticket that I do know I already saw and if I remember correctly unfortunately so the person that did make the Jimmy Smith they did not actually choose to boost like block shed hit power I don't believe if I remember correctly so it's not like crazy crazy run support type cornerback but we'll double check on that when the stats come out tomorrow maybe he decided to change them but I'm pretty sure I already saw the stats and the block shed hit power they're not anything super super crazy as for the first developer golden ticket which by the way guys I did just drop a video a little bit ago going over the best developer GTs we could see basically the players that I think would make the most sense for EA to go ahead and pick and one JT that we got and then I did see a lot in the comment section was strong safety Carl Banks well developer golden tickets yeah we got a strong safety Carl Banks so we did actually get Carl Banks here 96 speed 97 acceleration so he is going to be able to get to 98 speed and 99 excel strong safety he's six foot three of course he's got 99 tackling 95 play rec 99 pursuit 99 man and 98 zone with 90 with 97 hit power so this is a very very good looking card this could honestly be like an incredible user 
But I will say, safeties right now, extremely deep position. We have Taylor Mays, uh, even Isaiah Simmons. A lot of people are still using him. Grant Delpit, we have DK Metcalf. I personally want to see a uh, Pat Watkins because he's six foot five, and that definitely you know makes him a little bit different from all the rest of the safeties. But Carl Banks, his block shed makes him a lot different too. This is a card that a lot of people say would be a really, really, really good golden ticket. And actually, he's six foot four. I thought he was six foot three. So that makes him even better at six four. But you guys can see the strong safety banks. He actually had 96 block shed. So, I mean, 99 block shed safety definitely really really possible uh he does actually also have 88 power moves so he's probably gonna be above 90 power move the block should be in a 96 though gonna be about a 99 so strong safety carl banks is this gonna be somebody that you guys be using personally i have taylor mays and dk right now uh actually at middle linebacker users but i mean with carl banks being six foot four being able to get to 98 speed and having probably 99 block shed with the man with the zone with the hit power i think i may actually end up using strong safety carl banks the middle linebacker i don't know if i'm gonna use him i feel like i want to use her dk still and let uh, strong safety carl banks kind of just play out there in middle linebacker and just be incredible against the run or i may just kind of throw him out there but have him maybe playing you know uh, close to the box not necessarily in the box but kind of in a flat for me which is kind of where i usually have like a third safety i tend to actually use four safeties on my field and usually i have one over the top in a deep blue two at middle linebacker and then one kind of playing a flat or a purple i think banks is probably going to be that guy that i have playing the flat or the purple honestly although you could use him because he is six foot four so man do I want to use her six foot four Carl Banks because he is six foot four and he's going to have, you know, up jumping all the everything that you really need on him. But his change direction is kind of lower. His jumping's also not crazy, crazy high on this card. I almost feel like this card is one you want to have out there and just let him play. You guys, let me know. Strong safety Carl Banks. Is this someone you guys run him in a linebacker and you use him because his jumping change of direction? Not that crazy. I know you could always just, you know, blitz him and then the change of direction really doesn't matter there. But the jumping as well. Compare that to DK. Compare that to Taylor Mays. I'm not really too sure. But if you guys want to see a gameplay tomorrow, definitely could get that knocked out. We also do have Mutt Rewards coming tomorrow as well. We do also have Mutt Rewards coming out tomorrow. You guys can see right here. Tomorrow at 12 p.m. we will have some Mutt Rewards. We're actually meeting Rookie, which is going to be one All-Pro Fantasy Pack. For Pro, you guys get one Fan Appreciation. For All-Pro, one Fan Appreciation and one All-Pro. And then for Legendary, you do get two Fan Appreciation Packs. So... Pretty good stuff. Four golden tickets tomorrow. One really, really good developer GT with that Carl Banks. I don't really know where I'm going to play him, but definitely want to pick that card up. And just to clear it up as well, because I know some people are going to comment it down below. No, you cannot pick any of those four golden tickets tomorrow from your free NAT golden ticket fantasy pack. I've been saying it all week, but I've already been getting tweets and stuff asking if you could pull one of them. No, they are not going to be in that pack. They will never be in that pack. You cannot pick one of those four players in the NAT Fantasy Pack. They will not be in there. So with that being said, guys, hope you did enjoy the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like in the video. And of course, hit that sub button down below. Mutt Rewards tomorrow and four new golden tickets. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time.